Hi guys! So we're going to talk about measurement now. We're going to talk about standard and non-standard ways to measure things. Uh, and we're going to then put it into practice. Uh, we're going to read this book called Measuring Penny by Lauren Levy first. So this is Penny. She's a little dog right there. Lauren Levy is the author and illustrator of this book. My name is Lisa, and my teacher says that our next big homework project is to measure something. Mr. Jason says that we can measure anything, like a sofa, a television set, or a doll. So measuring homework that's due next Tuesday is choose something to measure. Measure it in as many ways as you can. Height, width, length, weight, volume, temperature, and time. And record your results. That means write them down. Include at least one comparison. It is taller than, or it is heavier than, etc. Remember, a measurement always has two parts, a number and then a unit. So you would say, I am 65 inches tall. The number is 65 and the unit is inches. Ah, so which units can you use? You can use standard units like inches, feet, yards, centimeters, meters, teaspoons, cups, gallons, pounds, minutes, etc. Or non-standard like paper clips or bricks or frogs or marbles or pencils or toes. Use your imagination. Maybe you have blocks or magnet tiles or Legos at home and you could use those to measure. When I got home today, my dog Penny jumped all over me as usual. Wow, I could measure Penny for my homework. She's a Boston Terrier and she's bigger than a pug and smaller than a Cocker Spaniel. She's about the size of a Shetland Sheepdog. Penny, please stop drooling on my homework. <laughs> Come on, Penny, I'll get a ruler and we'll run over to the park. Look at all the dogs out here today. Calm down, Penny, calm down. I can't believe how many dogs live around here. Fine, I'll measure some of you too. We're supposed to use a standard unit, so let's measure your noses and see how many inches they are. Stop licking my face, silly puppies. The Shetland Sheepdog's nose is four inches long. The a Penny's nose is one inch long, and the Pug's inch is half an inch long. So whose nose is the shortest? The Pug, right? Yeah. I'll measure your tails with a non-standard unit, dog biscuits. Will you hold still, please? Penny has the shortest tail of all. It's one dog biscuit long. Fox Terriers, they're four biscuits long. And the mixed breed dog, one, two, three, four, five, six. The Greyhound dog has the longest tail and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dog biscuits long. I'll measure your ears with another non-standard unit, cotton swabs. Don't wiggle so much. Here's the pug, here's Penny, and the Basset Hounds, one, two, three cotton swabs. Let's see how wide your paw prints are, Penny. I'll turn over my ruler and we'll measure with another standard unit, centimeters. So if you have a ruler at home, the top, the top part where these larger units of measurement are inches. The bottom part, the, on the flip side, is uh, the smaller one is centimeters. Both are standard units of measurement. So she's gonna use centimeters. The mixed breed's paw, it's five centimeters. The dachshund, it's two and a half centimeters. Penny is three centimeters. And the cocker spaniel is four centimeters. I want to see how tall you are. Please, everybody sit. The dachshund is a foot tall. Short, he's a short dog. The cocker spaniel's 24 inches. The greyhound is three feet or 36 inches or one yard tall. The mixed breed is 48 inches tall. And uh, Penny, she's 18 inches tall or a foot and a half. Let's see how high you can jump. Penny can jump up to my waist. I could use myself to measure people, another non-standard unit, she's using her body. So the Basset Hound jumps knee high, Penny jumps waist high, the Fox Terrier jumps shoulder high, and do you know what, that Greyhound, he jumps over my head. And, uh, oh, and the Shetland Sheepdog jumps chest high, and the Pug and the Dotson, well, they don't even jump. <laughs> 
there's no scale at the park, but I, so I can't weigh anything. But wait, I could use a seesaw to see how heavy Penny is compared to the other dogs. The seesaw is down on Penny's end, so she is heavier than the pug. Now Penny, Penny's end is up because she is lighter than the Cocker Spaniel. The seesaw is balanced. Not one side is up and not one side is down. It's equal. So she weighs about the same as the Shetland Sheepdog. You all look thirsty, Penny. So we better go home and get you a drink. I'll see you later, everybody. So let's stop in the bathroom so I can weigh you, Penny. Get on the scale, please. You're exactly 16 pounds. Now let's go to the kitchen for a drink. Mr. Jason says, volume is the amount of space that fills something up, like water in a cup or a bottle, right? My, my bottle measures 1,000 milliliters, and that's a volume. Not like volume on the radio, right? So uh, let's see what volume of water Penny wants. There's a teaspoon, a tablespoon, half a cup, one cup, pint, quart, gallon. You drank a cup of water already today, so I'll give you another cup now. And I suppose you're hungry too, Penny. No, you can't have the whole bag of dog food. I'll just give you half a cup. Sometimes Dad and I make homemade dog biscuits. We measure the ingredients so they taste good, at least to you know who. So look, she's cooking with her daddy to make homemade dog biscuits for Penny. That might be a fun activity to, to practice some of this at home. I'm going to follow Penny around all Saturday to measure how much time I spend taking care of her. Here's Penny's schedule. So she, uh, the girl takes care of Penny from six in the morning until four in the afternoon. And she does different things with her all throughout the day. So she's making a poster for this part. Here's how much time it takes to feed Penny. Every day I feed her, brush her, walk her. I play with her. And every week I give her a bath, I clip her nails. So all of these things take different amounts of time, different units of time. So minutes, seconds, or even hours, right? Sometimes when she gives Penny a bath, it can take up to an hour. Wow. I'll measure how quickly Penny can run to different places. She can get from her bed to the kitchen in six seconds. So look, she's created this map. There's Penny's bed. There she goes to the kitchen and it takes her six seconds to get there. And she's, she said how long it takes her to Penny to get across the backyard, around the block, to the park, and to the bus stop. All different amounts of time. Temperature is important too. To Penny because she doesn't like things that are too hot or too cold either. She likes it just right like Goldilocks. Penny likes to go on longer walks when the weather is nice. So when the weather isn't is cold, Penny doesn't like to go out at all. But when the weather gets warmer, Penny likes to spend a lot of time walking. And this is a graph to show you the amount of time Penny likes to walk when it gets warmer. In fact, you can almost tell the temperature outside by just looking at her. Here's Penny when it's 80 degrees, like today. She's happy. When it's 60 degrees, she's really happy. When it's 40 degrees, she's cold. When it's 20 degrees, she's shivering. And when it's zero degrees, she's inside by the fire. Remember our flamingo fire in our classroom? Uh, when it's 80 degrees, look though, her tongue is out, so she's very thirsty and maybe she's tired too. That means it's hot. The last thing I'm going to measure Penny with is money. Mom looked through a checkbook to help me figure this out. So we decided Penny is kind of expensive. The cost of having Penny, it, it, to buy her, it cost $275. To feed her for one year, it was $400. Uh, to take her to the veterinarian, it cost $120. And to buy her toys and her collar and her pet bed and all those fun things, $75. But you know what? Penny's worth a lot too. The value of having Penny as a burglar alarm, $1,000. As an exercise machine, $500. And as entertainment, $20 a day. And for love, well, that's worth a million dollars, maybe even more. I'm sure Mr. Jason will give me a good grade on my measuring project. Penny, maybe we should change your name to a million. <laughs> So, I wanted to now go over uh, 
these are different types of measurement. You can measure the length of something, the weight of something, the volume, right? Or what's in a, a cup is volume. Temperature, if it's hot or cold outside. And time, right now it's 322. Uh, so you have standard units of measurement like the ruler or the measuring tape. And here are lots of examples like the scale, measuring tape, um, measuring cups and spoons for cooking, uh, a thermometer, a ruler, clocks, all different types of clocks, a stopwatch, and scales. And then these are non-standard units. These are magnetic chips, uh, unifix cubes, those counting teddy bears, and even feet. Ah! <laughs> Can you use your feet to measure something? You can, yeah. Um, so I, I'm attaching this fun, this fun little project to our uh, Google Classroom. Uh, and we're going to use, we're going to use these uh, dog biscuits and paws to measure penny here. So you can print off the pages and cut them out. It says you need certain types of color. Okay, sorry. It says you need different types of color for paper, but I just printed it out and I colored mine, which is another good uh, fine motor skill activity, right? Uh, so here's Penny. I cut her out, colored her, and glued her together. And now, uh, this little chart is asking us to measure uh, Penny in dog biscuits and paws. So it's asking for the size of her head. So her head, let's see, it's about one, two, three, four, and a quarter dog biscuits wide. So we're going to write four and a quarter wide. And then let's see dog biscuits. It's one, two, three and a half dog biscuits wide. Okay, now let's look at her ear. Let's measure how long Penny's ear is. One, two, two and a half paws wide. And then let's see dog biscuits. One, two, two dog biscuits wide. Let's see, her nose is one, one and a half, yeah, one and a half dog biscuits. Or I'm sorry, one and a half paws wide. And then her nose is one and a quarter wide one and a quarter wide. Her eye is one dog biscuit wide. And, oh no, I'm sorry, one paw wide. Let's see, one paw wide, right? One paw wide. One, one and a quarter dog biscuits wide. One and a quarter dog biscuits wide. So then her mouth, let's do dog biscuit first for her mouth. One, Two, two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. And then, uh, let's see, pause. One, two, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter wide. Three and a quarter, pause wide, her mouth. So you can uh, cut out, print and cut out and color Penny and glue her together and then use these fun units of measurement to measure her. You might also want to measure your body with something you have at your house like Legos or blocks or magnetiles. That's fun. I'll attach a picture of Ella doing that. Um, I think she did it with some string in her class and I'll attach a picture of that here too. Okay, have fun. Measure things around your house. It's a lot of fun to find out how long things are, how much things weigh, uh, the temperature of different things. So do some measuring. And you can even measure with fun, uh, with fun things like dog paws or dog biscuits or magnetiles or Legos. Okay, guys, see you soon.